Thank you for selecting this TaxSlayer Pro training video. In this video, we'll discuss electronic filing of a tax return in the TaxSlayer Pro desktop version. We're going to discuss how to transmit a return, adding and removing clients from the e-file table, receiving acknowledgments from the IRS, and printing reports. In a previous video, we discussed how to mark the return for electronic filing, and in this video, we're going to start out with transmitting that return that we marked for electronic filing. We're at the opening screen of the TaxLayer Pro desktop software, and just as in preparing a tax return, I've got three options in which to choose from to electronically file returns. I can select the e-file returns button, I can click on number two e-file, or again, if my hands are on the keyboard, I can simply enter the number two in the enter option dialog box. But I'll begin by clicking the e-file returns button. I'm now at the e-file main menu where I have the following options, but we're going to concentrate for purposes of this video on transmitting returns, receiving acknowledgments, and printing reports. I'm going to select option number one, transmit electronic returns, and this is going to take me to my TaxLayer transmission table. And you'll notice the return that we previously marked for electronic filing is now showing up in this table. If I'm ready to transmit the return, I would go ahead and select the transmit button. If I wanted to add clients, say for instance I had corrected a rejected return and I wanted to add this client to the transmission table, I would simply click on the add client button and select the client that I wish to add to the transmission table. If I needed to remove a client from the transmission table, I would simply click on the remove client button. But we'll go ahead and transmit the return that we prepared previously and marked for electronic filing. The first question I'm asked, do I want a printed list of clients selected to be sent to the IRS? Well, I would go ahead and answer yes on that question. This is the first leg of my paper trail that I'm going to print out or keep handy, letting me know the returns that I've transmitted and the status of each of those returns. And here's the example of my returns to be transmitted report and I would want to take a close look at this report and make sure that the returns that appear on this report are indeed the returns that I wish to transmit to the IRS. Once I've transmitted these returns, I can't call them back. Next I'll see a follow-up question on the screen. Is the printed list of clients to send correct? Well I've looked at my report and that return is indeed the return that I wish to send to the IRS so I'm going to answer yes to this question. The next message I see on the screen informs me that I'm about to transmit returns. Once I click connect again the returns cannot be canceled or removed or recalled. If I'm ready to send the returns now, I can simply click on the Connect button. Once I click the Connect button, I see a series of messages scrolling down the screen. The last one tells me that I may now exit this window. I now have an indicator on the eFile main menu telling me that I have reports to print. In the TaxLayer Pro desktop version, you must print your reports and read all of your messages, all of your incoming messages from TaxSlayer before you are allowed to transmit any further returns. So I'm going to select item number three, print reports. The most important report that I would get after transmitting a return is my transmission confirmation. This lets me know that TaxSlayer did indeed receive my return and tax layer servers are going to continue to transmit that return to the IRS for further processing. So I'm going to select option number one, transmission confirmation. 
This is an example of my confirmation report telling me that my return was indeed received by TaxSlayer Pro. The follow-up question that I see on the screen, did the transmission confirmation report print correctly? I'm going to answer yes to this question, it did. And now I will exit the e-file print menu and I'm back at the e-file main menu. And then once I exit the e-file main menu, it takes me back to the tax layer opening screen. Now one point here that I'll make with the IRS upgrade to the new modernized e-file platform which is often called MEF, individual and business returns and acknowledgements are processed in real time seven days a week. The returns are processed by the IRS and acknowledged usually within the hour. You can retrieve your acknowledgements continuously throughout the year. The IRS does, however, reserve the right to wait 48 hours before giving an acknowledgement for a tax return. The program will automatically pick up your acknowledgements when you transmit returns. However, what we're going to go through right now are the steps to simply retrieve acknowledgements. So from the main screen of the TaxSlayer program, I'm going to select the e-file returns button. I'm now going to select from the e-file main menu option number two, receive acknowledgements only. This opens up my TaxSlayer Pro communications window. I'm going to select the connect button. And you notice the series of messages that scroll down the screen telling me that I do have an IRS acknowledgement received and I may now exit this window. I now see the indicators on the e-file main menu telling me that I need to print reports. I have a report indicator telling me that I have an IRS acknowledgement. I'll select that menu option. And this is an example of an IRS acknowledgement report. Had this been a real return, of course the return would have been accepted and we would have had a happy ending to this client's tax return. But since this was a practice return, it was rejected by the IRS. Now once I've printed my report and made sure that all of the returns that I'm looking for are on the report, the follow-up question reads, did the IRS acknowledgement report print correctly? I'm going to answer yes. I'm now back at my e-file print menu. I'm going to exit the print menu. I have no further reports pending. I'm now back at the e-file main menu. Now keep in mind we have three reports that we printed. We had the returns to be submitted report. We wanted to make sure that the returns in that report are indeed the returns that we wanted to transmit. We had our transmission confirmation report telling us that TaxLayer did indeed receive our tax returns. And then we have our IRS acknowledgement telling us the status of the tax returns that we transmitted. I'm going to exit the e-file main menu. I'm back at the main or opening screen of the TaxLayer program and I'm ready to prepare another tax return. We want to thank you for watching this TaxLayer Pro training video on e-filing an individual tax return, and we'll catch you on the next video.